There is no shortage of incredible games on your iPhone, especially thanks to Apple Arcade and the ever-increasing performance of Apple's A-series processors. Of course, with all that additional performance, it goes without saying that being able to see your games on a larger screen, not to mention all the other apps on your phone, is a must-know trick for your iPhone. If you're deeply invested in the Apple ecosystem, you're probably wondering why there's no obvious native way to mirror your iPhone to a MacBook. Here's the secret. Although mirroring from your phone to your laptop is possible, to get the most from the feature, you'll want to turn to some outside apps. Let's take a look. If you're looking to mirror your screen natively, you might be surprised to learn it's totally possible. It's not a feature Apple promotes often, largely because it's actually meant to be a way to record your phone's display from your Mac. All you'll need is your iPhone, a lightning to USB cable, and QuickTime open on your computer, and you can get started. Make sure your iPhone is connected to your Mac, then click on File from the menu bar within QuickTime. Select New Movie Recording, then click the down arrow next to the red Record button to select your source. Your iPhone should appear in this list if it's connected and unlocked. With your iPhone selected, you can see your display mirrored right on your MacBook Pro. Of course, this isn't exactly the most fully featured way to mirror your iPhone. Plus, it requires your device being connected by a wire to your laptop. Instead, you might want to look into Reflector 3, a fantastic third-party app that allows for wireless mirroring from your iPhone to your Mac. All you need to do is install the app on both your iPhone and your MacBook, make sure they're on the same wireless network, and you can mirror your iPhone over AirPlay, the same way you would mirror to an Apple TV. It's really that simple. Reflector 3 does run you $18, but a free 7-day trial allows for a quick test of the app before you finally put your wallet down. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering iOS and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.